Hi Scrubs, hope you're well. So this video is requested by Link's Cat and I'm back on Beast Keeper. Um, I want to see if I can kind of set up a diet composition for each of my um, pets that will sort of suit what they're best at. Um, maybe not all of them, but I think for a few of them I'd like to try it, see how it works over time and then maybe try it again with something different if that doesn't necessarily work. So for Spirit here, the best thing he has is intelligence. And the next thing is agility. And then after that, it is constitution. So I can highlight most of them. All right, so it's agility, intelligence, and constitution. So let's have a closer look at this again. So for intelligence and constitution, we need animal carbs and plant fats and agility plant proteins. So I'm just going to put these all down to the lowest again. All right, so plant proteins for agility and animal carbs for intelligence. And then what was his last one? Agility, intelligence and constitution. So constitution is plant fat. So let's put that. I want to see how much of a difference that makes over a course of time, whether that is worth doing or whether it's not. I'm going to take him out um, to do a quest with, and I'm actually going to check if we have any. Uh, well, actually, we'll take him out to explore, but I'm going to check if we have any that we qualify for. We need a dragon. None of those we have. None of them are super suitable. For that one, we need a gr white griffin, which we don't. Right, okay. So we'll take Spirit out to explore. Go with the Tundra, because I don't think we've done the Tundra before. We haven't been out to the snow and ice before. So, what's this? We find a bandage, okay. Wood. Ooh, what's that? It looks like, like a goat unicorn looking thing. It's kind of like a goat crossed with a unicorn, crossed with a rhinoceros. Alright, let's try biting. Oh, we, we actually won. Okay. That wasn't that hard then. Ooh, what's that? That looks quite neat. A little bit more formidable, though. That's like a killer wheel with like a mountain lion kind of going on. I think we'll try biting it. Okay. Bite it again. Keep biting. Come on, bite one more time. No, okay, that didn't work. Uh, rush. Yeah, we did it. Okay. Not doing too badly. Right, what is, it? is that anything or is it just, no, it's just marks in the snow? It's down here, there's no one down there. Is that vermilion? I oh, know that's money. Snow or it's another one of those goat things. It's a bit fluffier this one though. We'll do biting again because that seems to work pretty well against those. Cat. Okay. Uh something in the water. Let's find a shell. What's this? What is it? Oh, that's cool. It's like a wolf looking lightning sort of thing. Ah, okay. Oh, we did it. Okay. What's up here? You've already visited this building. Okay. We did go towards it before, I guess. Another one of the goat looking things. Fighting seems to be pretty effective against them. Is there anything over here? Okay, there's some more money. Okay, there's no one else. Not a lot there, actually. In that particular area. Right, we'll head back home. Okay, I don't know if he still has enough energy. We have five energy. Maybe we could do another one. Let's try the jungle. Okay. Oh, there's some really weird looking things here. What's that? Spine of spotted tapir. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, that's kind of freaky. It's like a snake. With some kind of cat. Um mm, we'll rush. Oh, okay. It was a draw. Or did we win? Oh we did win. Don't know how we won. Is that a plant or I'm sort of wondering maybe that would be something we'd have to fight. This looks like a dragon looking thing down here. So does that. 
Okay, I can't go that way. What are you? Oh, you're like a vampire bat looking thing. That's quite freaky. Looks to be quite formidable as well. But we actually seem to be doing all right. Okay, we just about managed that. Not much more. Oh, treasure. Okay. No way. What's up here? Is that kind of freaky? Oh, I don't like that at all. A flying snake. Can you imagine that? A flying snake. I would be so running for the hills. I would not come back. Okay, we found a ground pear. Tropical honey ants. Another ground pear. Cuttlefish ink. Okay, we can't go any further. Right, what's up here? That looks like one of those places that we saw before. Congratulations to the amount of followers of the cult who worship the purebred champions. They gave you a gift. A tactician invite. Hmm, okay. Oh, what's that look? That looks quite cool. It's like a scorpion. Sabertooth cat. Ooh, this doesn't look like it's going to be easy to fight. No, it doesn't look like it's going to be easy to fight at all. That was quite close. I'm quite surprised we've managed to like fight off everything that we've met so far. Right, there's no one else here, so we'll go back to the portal and go back and see how much we've sort of gained XP wise. I don't know if we've leveled up. Oh, he's level six now. He was level four when we started. So I'm actually quite pleased with that. Or was he level five? He might have been level five because I feel like he was one of my highest levels. Um, I also have uh, this as well. This, um, Lycos from Tiger Lover 1234 and I love the colour of it. It's like a brindle. It says tan tiger down here but it's very pretty. Very nice. So I'm going to try um, and see if I can breed um, that one to something. So she's a female so we just need to go and see if we can find any males. Now we need something that doesn't cost too much. Um, but I would like to go for something that has a reasonable level. Wow, that's a really... Actually, for 5,000 I could cross it with a level 50. Which actually, I don't think is that bad. Maybe that there might be some kind of like... Requirements. Oh, there's so many amazing colours. They're very pretty. I wish this actually existed in real life. Because <laughs> they're really nice. Let's see if we can use this one. He's quite pretty. I like him. We'll see how that goes. Okay, so your pet is awaiting a child. So we'll go back to my pets now. Um, my lynx had this uh, baby puma, which we need to name. So, right, so it was, father was called Austin and lynx, so need to give it a name. Um, what to call it? I don't know. I think we'll call it Alex because I can't think of anything else at the moment. So that's Alex. Well, actually, we'll fit um, the dad composition as well for this one. So she is quite good at courage and strength and intelligence. So those are the ones we're going to focus on. So let's select all of these down to the minimum. So for courage, she needs animal proteins. For strength, she needs animal fats. And then for the, which one is that? Intelligence, she needs plant carbs. There we go. I want to see how much of a difference that makes. Um, doing that. I don't know how much of a difference it will make. Maybe, maybe we'll see it over time. But I'll be interested to see now. So that's everything that I have at the moment. All the pets. But anyway guys thank you to Linkscap for the rest of the video. I hope you're still moving in. Bye!